Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, the no sale order, the framework for sailing, vaccinations, uh, masks, all this stuff, and you know what? Something else completely is might what restarts the cruise industry. So after all this, we arguing and arguing, the fights with the CDC, the arguments back and forth, the conditional framework for sailing that's going nowhere, the no sail order for months and months that's going nowhere, the vaccines are now being rolled out, people wearing masks, people not wearing masks, people fighting the vaccine, people yes getting the vaccine. What might finally start the cruising industry is actually herd immunity. <laughs> what? That's right. There may be so many people now either have had the virus and are now immune to it or built up immune capacity or people who get the injections and they build up immunity. It's right now suggested that roughly 330 million people in the United States and we need to have about 240 million people to get that herd immunity, roughly 70% of the population, and that's including kids. Uh, and you know, they're they're not they're the least vulnerable out of this group, but that's including children in the United States. Well, they say that we will reach that 70% capacity, both people who have had the virus and people who have gotten the protection from the vaccinations around the end of July which is right around the time that it's suggested that cruise ships will finally get one or two ships sailing in July. So out of all the complications and all the things that are going on and the test cruises here and the starting here and separation and all the stuff that we've been talking about and arguing about and waiting for CDC to work through and everything, it might just all work itself out in the end. <laughs> At least for you in the United States. Here in Canada, we're nowhere near going to get herd immunity by July. Nowhere near it. Uh, we, we're not even on the 30% part by the end of July. <laughs> so you folks in the United States may be able to sail well, well before we are here in Canada. In fact, I honestly think at one point the United States is going to have enough vaccines left over that people don't want to take the vaccine and they're storing the vaccine that they're going to start sending it to other countries who can use it because not enough people are coming to get it and you can only store it so long because of it's the, you know, the minus 80 degree temperatures that it has to be stored in for Pfizer, for example. So I honestly think that's going to happen coming up during the summer this year. You're going to see shipments to other countries who aren't uh, up to par as far as the United States is right now. So, yeah, what can possibly save the cruising industry is just this might just start to go away. Can you imagine coming into the summer and a populace of the United States finally starts to hit herd immunity and instead of seeing on the news 100,000 cases or 200 or 300,000 cases daily, we see 5,000 and 6,000. How much better and how much easier will life be at that point? So here's keeping our fingers crossed that those predictions that, that are coming out from some of the colleges and universities and the uh, scientists are, are, are actually, the, this is their words, not mine. Uh, they are saying this is a, a an actual thing that is going to happen in July as long as the vaccine rollout continues at its current pace or faster. And so, fingers crossed, maybe that's going to be just the saving grace for everybody. We finally build up our herd immunity. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, 
Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.